We continue to follow the preparations for Hurricane Dorian's landfall. Generators can make your life a lot more comfortable during a storm, but they can threat your, threaten your life if they're used improperly. Before you crank it up, News 4 Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno is joining us with what you need to check on your generator to make sure your family's safe. Lauren? Guys, we know how important these can be, but very scary. If you spend money on a portable gasoline generator, the last thing you want is trouble starting it when a storm hits the worst time. Consumer Reports gave us the simple steps to keep it up and running. To be sure your portable generator is storm ready, make sure you have enough fuel. You'll need more than just what the generator's tank can hold. Figure on 12 to 20 gallons per day to keep it running 24 seven. Add a fuel stabilizer to keep the fuel fresh. Consumer Reports warns if your gas is old, your generator might be difficult to start, won't run properly, or might not run at all. This also eliminates the need to drain your tank when you're done using your generator. To save fuel, run it for several hours to get your essentials running and then turn it off to save your fuel. Next, pay attention to the oil. Many portable generators automatically shut off if the engine oil gets too low. So check the oil before you even start your generator to avoid disruptions in your power or worse, damaging your generator and time. If the oil is low, add only enough to bring the level to the full mark. If you want to go the extra mile, check the filters. Change paper air filters if they're visibly dirty. For foam filters, clean it in soapy water, let dry, and re-oil according to manufacturer's instructions. Many generators have a filter cup at the fuel tank opening. If it's sturdy, tap out any solid bits and wipe it with a clean rag. And remember, avoid carbon monoxide exposure. Never run your generator indoors, not even in your garage near open windows or doors. And Consumer Report says your generator needs exercise. So whether you bought a new one or an old one for maintenance, it's important to start it up once a month and let it run for about 20 minutes. This burns off moisture, lubricates the engine, and recharges the battery. And we were just talking about this. You have to be so careful. Mm -hmm. We hate it. Every year we talk about another person who right. left it running inside. Right, right, Even right. if it's a garage, that's considered inside. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Lawrence. Super important and information right it's now. It's really critical, too, because uh, they kill people, mm -hmm. okay? Oh, absolutely. Uh, they are not easy. Uh, the electricity can be backloaded into the house incorrectly. Yeah. And, of course, like you just mentioned, the carbon monoxide. So you do it out in the open and away from the house. And know what you're doing. Get yeah. somebody yeah, who really knows what they're doing to help you no, out I'm with your it, neighbor. Right? Meet your yeah. neighbor. Yeah. Ask I, them for help. Truth. I got to tell you, they're not hard to do. I mean, I think that's the key. But you have to follow the rules. You got to be very clear and you know, go through the motions of what, all the little steps because that's how you stay safe. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, beyond that, they can be you know, very comforting to have mm -hmm. when you're really without power.